the chassis department uh first we have considered the operations which are welding laser cutting bending profiling and grinding so basically i am explaining the mainframe of the chassis and we have used a similar method for all our uh, our remaining components so basically starting with welding uh, the we have used tig welding and the cost per weld comes out to be 70 rupees so there are about uh, 20, 36 welds in the mainframe of a chassis so the total cost comes out to be 2871 rupees uh, the next cost was laser cutting uh, the cost per cut was rupees found out to be rupees 72 and hence there are around 18 cuts for the mainframe of the chassis so hence the cost uh, 1250 bending as you can see in the photo there are around eight bends in our chassis and the cost for one bend comes out to be rupees 50 hence the cost rupees 400 uh, for labor cost we have considered uh, for labor cost we have considered that the uh, labor might be earning rupees 15000 per month so on daily basis he might be earning uh, rupees around uh, on hourly basis he might be earning around 60 rupees so considering that the chassis took 2 hours and 30 minutes uh, the labor cost comes out to be rupees uh, 150 and for toolings uh, for tooling cost gigs and fixtures might be required to frame the chassis hence the cost rupees 200 and now beginning with the raw material cost uh, we have used aisi 4130 as the material for the chassis and the market price for aisi per meter was rupees 450 and as you can see the mainframe of the chassis is around 8.9 meter hence when we multiply the cost we get rupees for uh, 4000 uh, moving ahead so uh, now i'd like to take over the steering uh, system uh, the first part of the steering system that I'd like to explain is the uh, stub axle. It is made from the EN19 raw material, which is uh, costing uh, around 1000 rupees and it's uh, around 160 per kg. Operations done on this was the CNC machining and its cost was 7 rupees per uh, centimeter cube. And with a total volume of 900 cubic centimeters, the cost for machining this element comes up to, us, comes up to around 7000 rupees. The fasteners used in this were uh, M20 Allen uh, grade, uh, M20 grade Allen bolts. So two bolts were used, which were costed around 125 rupees each. Labor cost for the CNC operation is priced at roughly around 450 rupees per hour, and com uh, computing a machine time of around four hours, the total comes up to 1500 rupees. And also considering uh, the jigs and fixtures which were required for uh, the usage of this, 200 rupees were considered for this. The five axis CNC machine is required uh, for the machining of this particular part. Then coming to the second part uh, that I'd like to explain is the knuckle that is made from C45 raw material, which uh, the mat raw material cost is around 300 rupees and it is priced at rupees around 200 per kg. 1.6 kgs is roughly required for the this particular part. CNC machining was also used for this particular manufacturing and the operation cost is same, seven rupees per cubic centimeter and uh, therefore the total adds up to rupees 5 uh, 1500 with a total cubic volume of 210 centimeters fasteners used in this were washers uh, five washers were used uh, priced at 10 per piece therefore the total cost of 50 rupees and the labor cost for cnc machining as uh, this is a little bit uh, simpler part is 400 rupees per hour and the machining time was around uh, approx 1 1 and a half hour therefore uh, 400 rupees is the labor cost required for this part uh, the, hence, the total uh, cost of the stub axle assembly comes up to around 12,300. Uh, moving ahead. Uh, so, coming on to the uh, braking system. So, the first design, as you can see, is the brake rotor made from an SS 420 materials, and the cost is 470 rupees, which is priced at 210 rupees per kg. The operation performed on the brake rotors are first the lathe operations. Uh, the cost for the lathe machining is 640 rupees per thousand cubic centimeter. For 126 cubic centimeter, it costed around 80 rupees. The second operation was a uh, water jet cutting. The cost is 10 rupees per inch square, and the total operation area was performed on 49 inch square, which sums up to 500 rupees. The final operation was the grinding grinding operations, and the cost is a uh, 1300 rupees per thousand centimeter square for this operation the area was cut out to be 314 centimeter square which costed around 220 rupees 
the faster used our M8, which costs uh, 10 rupees per piece. With a quantity of 5, it costs uh, 50 rupees. The labor cost for the lathe machining was uh, 80 rupees per hour. For this operation, it costs 20 rupees. And for the water jet operations, the labor cost was 160 rupees per hour. And the operation lasted 15 minutes, which costs 40 rupees. And the last operation labor cost was uh, 60 rupees per hour. And this cost us around 15 rupees. There's a total labor cost uh, considered was at 75 rupees. Considering the jigs and fixtures and all the sea clamps, the tooling cost was estimated to be at 30 rupees. So coming on to the next, the caliper mount. Uh, not uh, yeah. So, as you can see, the for the this caliper mount, we use the material MS material, uh, which is fifty rupees per kg, and for one kg requirement, it costed us fifty rupees. Simple as that. Uh, the second operation performed was a laser cutting operations, uh, which costed five rupees per ten mm cut. Total twenty eight mm cut was performed, which costed one forty rupees. The fastener used is M8. Uh, Cost 10 rupees, 10 rupees per piece with the quantity of two, it costs 20 rupees, and the labor cost for laser cutting is 150 rupees uh, per hour. Time required was 10 minutes approx, which costed 25 rupees. The total cost for tools and clamps for this uh, laser cutting was 25 rupees. So the total cost for break uh, break uh, caliper mount was 260 rupees. Uh, just a second, let me just mute myself, then we'll continue. Good evening. Good evening. Moving on to the transmission system, the first part is the driven stroke. I'll begin again. Good evening. Moving on to the transmission system, the first part is the driven sprocket. Made from SS420, the raw material cost is rupees 300 and is priced at rupees 210 per kg. Can you please switch on the um, presentation? Presentation. Switch. Okay. 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 Sorry, sir. So I begin again. again. The first part is the driven sprocket. Made from SS420, the raw material cost is rupees 300 and is priced at rupees 210 per kg. Operations done on it are laser cutting and its cost is rupees 120 for a 15 minute operation priced at rupees 500 rupees per hour. And hobbing, its cost is rupees 30 for a half hour operation priced at rupees 60 per hour for finishing the gear's teeth. Fasteners used are M8 bolts, which cost around rupees 50, which is priced at rupees 10 per piece. Labor cost for both the operation is rupees 150, considering that a labor earns rupees 25,000 to 20,000 per month and manufactures around 10 to 15 parts per day. And the tooling cost, considering the jigs and fixtures used for both the operation in total is rupees 50. Considering laser operation cutting, including tooling cost is rupees 140 which is priced at rupees 25 per inch in total the price of this driven sprocket comes out to be rupees 700 the second part is the sprocket hub made from aluminium 7075 the raw material cost is rupees 500 and is priced at rupees 700 per kg cnc machining was used in manufacturing it and the operation costed around rupees 500 Fasteners used are a key of rupees 50 and M8 bolts of rupees 50 priced at rupees 10 per piece. Labor cost for the CNC operation was rupees 500 because of the pattern and the time which went into manufacturing the uh, part which required a scheduled labor. Tooling cost is around rupees 200. And considering CNC operation, including the tooling cost, is rupees 700 for a 1.5 hour operation. Priced at rupees 450 per hour. The total cost of this rocket hub comes out to be rupees 1800.
yeah so for electronics and wiring we've chosen to explain primary accumulator basically the raw material that we've used uh, the cell that we've used is bak18650 3.7 volts 2900 mah lithium ion cells they are called, they cost at around 142 rupees per cell and uh, for the battery we've used 14 cells in series uh, 14 cells in parallel and 28 cells in series so that comes out to be 14 into 1 uh, 28 into 142 rupees which is mentioned here as 55700 rupees the casing price is 2300 rupees because we've used the material ms that is mild steel and it costs around 50 rupees per kg the operation cost uh, the total operation cost is 2500 rupees this includes the sealants and the spray painting that is that has been done the welding and bending of the casing slotting for the led screen on the battery and soldering the fastest cost is basically around 200 rupees which involves the wiring of the battery uh, to the motor the motor controller etc and the bolts and the nuts the labor cost we've considered as 15000 rupees uh, basically it involves assembling cells in the battery pack and so two weeks for the manufacturing so from where we procured it basically that's the salary of the labor finally the tooling cost is around 300 rupees as we've uh, used a volt meter so the total cost for the battery comes out to be 76000 rupees Please unmute yourself. Yeah, I'm audible now. Oh, yeah. Extremely sorry. Yes. Uh, yes. So basically, for for explaining the body works, we've chosen the front body bumper. The front body bumper. Uh, overall, the total fi uh, five body works that we have, uh, those have required three epoxy bottles. Uh, for the making of them. and around uh, each epoxy bottle cost around 490 rupees so the uh, uh, 490 rupees and for this particular body work around 300 rupees of epoxy was used and the other uh, cost for the operation went into uh, the pop mold and the fiber glass which was required so around 1100 rupees were uh, went into that the coming to the uh, fasteners the, the four screws uh, four m8 screws are required to mount it over on the chassis so the rupees of 20 and labor cost is around rupees 200 uh, this is assuming a salary of 24000 per month uh, approximately and around 1 to 2 hours of working for the particular labor and the raw material required in this uh, particular is this fiberglass and that uh, cost uh, cost comes up to around 500 rupees so therefore the total cost of manufacturing one particular uh, front body bumper is uh, 1330 rupees Okay, so in the end, we have showed the parts which we have procured and not manufactured. So basically, they have direct cost, and uh, we have done with our PPT. Yeah.